In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Mg plus Zn NO3 2. This is magnesium plus zinc nitrate. It's a single replacement reaction. The magnesium replaces the zinc. Zinc ends up by itself, magnesium bonded to the nitrates. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. When we look at it, the molecular equation is already balanced, so that's done. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. Magnesium, that's a metal. It's going to be a solid. Nitrates are very soluble. That'll be aqueous, dissolved in water. Another nitrate, magnesium nitrate, aqueous, and then zinc metal. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes part into their ions for the complete ionic equation. We won't split the magnesium as it's by itself. I'll write the states at the end. Zinc is always 2 plus. If you didn't know that, the nitrate ion is always 1 minus. You should memorize that. Since we have 2, this has to be 2 plus to balance out. Magnesium group 2 on the periodic table, 2 plus, our nitrate is negative. So we have Zn, 2 plus, and then we have these two nitrates. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. On the product side, we have the Mg2 plus, we have the two nitrate ions, and then we have just the zinc there. So this is the complete or total ionic equation. So now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. In essence, they haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. As I look at this, I can see I made an error here. There are two nitrate ions here, not just one. So I want to fix that. So I have my two nitrates. Now I can cross out the nitrates because they appear on both sides. Everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for Mg plus ZnNO3 2. Let me clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for magnesium plus zinc nitrate. You'll notice that charge is conserved. On this side we have 2 plus, on this side total charge of 2 plus, and we have magnesium atom on both sides, zinc atom on both sides, so mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.